gentlemen, it is ladies' semi-final time. Here are the 2023 Australian Darts Open. Let's welcome firstly to the stage a former New Zealand Open champion, the reigning New Zealand Masters champion, Desi Rascal, Desi Massa! number five in the world, the former Australian Darts Open champion, three times the Winmore World Masters champion, four times the Lakeside World champion, the Lancashire Rose, Lisa Ashton! Warm welcome back to the Moama Bowling Club and it is ladies semi-final time here at the 2023 Australian Darts Open. Lisa Ashton, the Lancashire Rose, four times the world champion, former Australian Darts Open champion, taking on New Zealand's number four, Desi Mercer. Kelvin James joins me in the commentary box once again. Thank you Anthony. Lisa has been in brilliant form right throughout this tournament so far. Stop playing with your tie, Marco. <laughs> I was actually complimenting Marco earlier on on how nice a tie that was. He then told me it cost him one euro. One euro? One euro for a tie. That is... Amazing. Bargain hunting at its finest. Good ties in Australia can cost you upwards of $100. Wow. I am fond of a nice tie, but I'm not willing to pay that much. First <laughs> no, and, uh, and ties in society across the board are becoming more and more of a rarity. Smart cash, smart casual becomes the norm. One, three, fours. Lisa Ashton, ton plus scores are becoming the norm with her, have been the norm for many years. Nice reply and progress from Desi, One of them who for the second game running has remembered to take her cardigan off. <laughs> Played her first group match, cardi on, removed the cardi on the walk on for her second game and it has remained off since. Came to the group containing Christine Sheeran and Kim Mitchell, did Desi. Defeated Chrissy Sheeran 4-2, defeated Kim Mitchell 4-3. In a match that Kim Mitchell had match darts. 26. Lisa, on the other hand, defeated Nicole Reno, 
4-1 in our first match, averaging 81.9. And then defeated Janine Kassar, 4-0, averaging just short of 90. Yes, brilliant games from Lisa. Something of a Moama favourite. Always a pleasure to have her across from sunny Lancashire. And absolutely delighted, Lisa, this year that we didn't have to go on the paddle steamer. <laughs> a promise made by me <laughs> after uh, the past two visits. Yeah, Lisa, not no, fond of the her. water. Absolutely terrified. We went to the, the Moama Lights last year. Lovely light show here in Moama. And it was a, a little walk down by the riverside. And of course, there is a couple of bridges to cross over. And when, when it came to the 16. bridges, Lisa did, did her best. Linford Christie <laughs> off her mark. <laughs> right across the bridge. And she's wanting to win this leg in double quick time. 54. We'll be back for 54. Daisy back in 245. Contrasting styles of, for these two players. Yep, Daisy Mercer's more methodical, deliberate in her throwing action. And Lisa, right to the point. 100. She's barely approached the hockey, the two darts are in the board. 54 then for a 1 0 lead. Tops. Yeah, Just like that. Lisa. Finishing continues for Lisa Ashton. Is she goes into a 1-0 lead mm -hmm. over New Zealander. Desi the Rascal Mercer. Did play each other last year in the Pacific Masters in the quarter-final stage. Lisa running out a 3-0 winner on that occasion. One year and 12 days ago. 41. I have to say, Lisa looks the most impressive of the female players so far. Yep, she's been absolutely on fire. But that can turn around in one leg of darts. 100. Chuka Moama Darts Association, Snakan. <laughs> Victorian tournament director. There we go. On the Snakan, Gary Sinnott. Better late than never with the hashtag. <laughs> Think they're slacking off in the back room there, Anthony? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to say? Not at all. <laughs> 45 There she is, the lovely Kate A bit more chipper now <laughs> Looking slightly 45. more awake I did have a, a word with Kate earlier on She has swapped at the coffee for something a, a tad stronger <laughs> Normal service has been resumed here at the darts Likes a glass of bubbly, does our Kate And I mean that in the most non-offensive manner. Yes. Thirty-six. Can Lisa continue with fine form? Eighty-one. Just seen Nicole Renault hiding behind that sign. Wendy Harper watching on also. Kiwi table. Yes, they give great support to each other when they're not involved in the game themselves to the Kiwis. And quite rightly so. 16. Daisy Mercer, 10 world ranking titles to her name. The most recent of which was this year's New Zealand Masters. 97. Very deceptive player is Desi. I'm going to attempt, so if I go quiet for a while, you'll know why. I'm going to attempt to count Lisa's world ranking titles. Oh, well you'll be here till Sunday. Yeah. Actually, next Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Not tomorrow. 85. Yes, good darts there. By Desi Mercer. Lisa Ashton on 178. 98. Leaves 80. Desi back on 234. I've counted 64. 64. If she never wins another title, that is an amazing record. 64 titles, including 12 majors, three world trophies, two Finder Darts 45. Masters. Lisa, you require 65. I'm wrong. 
the greats of the game alongside the likes of uh, that's and that's a great finish yes. Lisa. alongside the likes of Trina Gulliver Peter the Headman an amazing dart player absolutely what the lovely three. lady to boot enjoys coming across to Australia and she's my tip to take the title this year so I hope that doesn't handicap her this will be her 14th major if she does. Three World Trophies, as I say, two Fender Darts Masters, three Win More World Masters, one Australian Darts Open so far, and of course, four Lakeside World Championships. One in 2014 and 15, gave someone else a chance in 16, and won it again 17 and 18. Four out of five. Remarkable. Amazing. Absolutely amazing dart player. And won her tour card for the Pro Tour, the PDC, outright back in January of 2020. Such a brave thing to do. Absolutely. Enter the Lions Den and come out victorious. Danny Porter, whoop, and gone. Take your teeth out, <laughs> Danny, you'll get more in. Twenty-six. Another snack cam for whom we do not know. One hundred. So consistent, look at this leg. Tan, tan, 125, tan, to leave 76 after just 12 darts. Truly world class. Forty-three. Lisa Uricar, 76. For our Australian ladies watching, this is the standard you need to strive towards. Uh, oh, yes, eh? Clinical, 14 dart leg. Forward leg is Dazzy to throw first. Game on. Halfway to victory. 3 0. Lisa has appeared at the World Championships 10 times. First, all 16. the way back in 2009 when she came through the qualifiers. Reached the quarter finals on debut. Didn't qualify the next two years, then returned. Another quarter final appearance in 2012. Reached the final in 13. Then started the run of five years. She won four of them. Quarter final appearance in the middle in 2016. Last 16 in 2019. And lost in the final 2020. And that in itself. A remarkable record. Amazing. What you won. Absolutely amazing. Four times Brilliant. has appeared at the Grand Slam of well, Darts. Great one forty there from Lisa. Jumps into the lead. One hundred. Desi Mercer only has the one World Championship appearance to her name so far. That was last year, of course. Lost in the preliminary round to the Swede Vicky Proum. I'm sure Daisy would love another opportunity to play on that lakeside stage now that she's a bit more mobile after having the hips done. Yes, she's absolutely One would. And 21. But she's got to get past Lisa Ashton today first. Absolutely. And after 12 darts, Lisa is once again on a finish, requiring 80 
There's your back on 304. Sixteen. Lisa, you require eighteen. <laughs> Youngest player in the room. <laughs> Two tens. Seventy-five. Oh, just the wrong side of the wire, but she will be back. Five remaining. <laughs> yes, lads. <laughs> Enjoying the Saturday afternoon frivolity. Sixteen. Lisa, you require five. Five to rip then for Lisa Ashton. And there's the one double two. No hesitation at all in her throw. Just looks at it and smacks it. Three. These are the legs that can. These are the legs that can sometimes get away from a player. 41. Lisa, you require two. Madhouse for Ashton. No score. Oh. Commits Uri the card to comes inside. So 143 for the New Zealander. Shots on, treble 17. Wrong treble. One other any eleven. It's a great last time. Lisa, you require Lisa just two. Away. Yeah, that oh, seems short of the four. Brilliant. Yeah, makes Lisa. no mistake this time. Fifth flag is Lisa to throw first. Into a four nil lead now, despite the good setup from Mercer. No pressure felt from the Lancashire Rose. 16. Too experienced to get bothered by the opposing slow pace of Desi Mercer. And I will add to that comment that it's not a deliberate ploy. This is just how Desi Mercer plays her darts week in, week out. 16. One on an M40. Excellent darts from Ashton. I'm exchanging a joke with Marco. Looks like the crowd has certainly built over the day. Standing room only, by the looks of things. Yes, it's... Uh, they were... Pretty much a full capacity of the tickets 86. on offer, taken up. So much so, we had to get some extra tables in and chairs last night to meet demand. But it's a floating audience. They come in. So many to use the other facilities of the club as well. During the tournament, they can go for a, a meal, a drink. The game of bowls. A game of bowls. Shot in the pokies. This is not a bowling club, it's an entertainment complex. One of the Magnificent facility. And this stage is a magnificent stage. The best in the country, bar none. As we hear, at the best tournament in the country, bar none. The Australian Darts Open. 81. Lisa, you require 19. Dribble 18. Goes down for the 16s. Double 12. 66. Not to be. But once again, she will be back. Plenty of time. And begin. I actually think that Desi Mercer's still to register a dart at a double in this match. Got down to a double in the previous leg. Didn't get a shot at it. 41. Lisa, you require Been 24. Completely outscored in this leg. Two twelves it is, two sixes now. 
That's a marker. Twelve. Oh, can't get much closer than that. I just mentioned our equipment sponsor, Eagle Sports with 180, who provides us with the dartboards that surrounds as part of our sponsorship. And we're looking to continue that great partnership. 81. Brett Cox. Lisa, you require Father John 12. were up there in the week. Um, thoroughly enjoyed what they said. That's game show in the fifth round. As Lisa, Lisa hits good. leg five. Yep. Requiring just one more for Game victory. On. Lisa's thoroughly enjoying what she's seeing too. 5 0. And a place in a second Australian Darts ATP. Open final. One leg away now for the Lancashire Rose. One hundred. Really enjoyed her visit this time as Lisa. And victory at the Australian Darts Open would cap it off as the emu man, Remco. Hmm. Brings his own brand of unique skills and entertainment to the crew. Does it's Remco? One. Each of the gang of five have their own individual qualities One hundred. and he'd bring that something something a little something special ah you big softy Aaron Morrison <laughs> <laughs> that's brownie points earned yeah sitting beside life win <laughs> wife Lynn not life win <laughs> wife Lynn <laughs> 85 so had to go with our director Leon Dan yeah <laughs> <laughs> from yesterday I'm renaming everyone Oh, why not? I think I renamed Desi, Desi Wendy the day before yesterday as well. That's okay, folks. I know who I meant. <laughs> Three scores of a ton in this leg for Ashton. Three scores in the 80s from Mercer, but that run comes to an end. So consistent, Lisa Ashton. Mercer having a fight with the dartboard to retrieve her darts. And here she goes again. Oh, oh yes, eh? Absolutely sensational. 24 left after 12. World class. Absolutely brilliant. Twenty-six. Lisa, you require so here twenty-four. Here we go then, Lisa Ashton. How many darts, Anthony? One. I would say one <laughs> is the wrong answer. <laughs> and this thing. Yes. Two. Lisa Ashton. Six-nil winner over Desi Mercer in a one-sided victory. We'll be back very shortly with our second semi-final. Eileen De Graff will meet Victoria's Joe Hadley.